Hey, it's Tube of Billy. Obviously, it is raining right now. Um, this is kind of sucky. Uh, we've got a massive string of storms that are coming in hot. And I'm trying to outrun them. Uh, the radar is, I mean, just, just to the west of me, coming east, is a massive, massive red cell. Huge. It's huge. Huge. Totally, totally huge. Nothing bigger. That was a horrible Trump impression. But anyway, it's a pretty bad storm. And um, I want to get home before it hits. So, needless to say, I've got my rain gear on. Um, got my boot covers on. I, I actually found them. So, a while ago, I, I thought I had lost these, um, these nice Harley Davidson boot gaiters. Um, thought I lost one of them. But my saddlebag wasn't buckled one day. Uh, turns out it just, it was in my uh, garage. So I found it the other day. After I had bought some other, you know, rubber boot covers. I think I'll keep those for heavy, heavy rain. Uh, this would be on the verge of heavy, heavy rain. Because I have worn these in heavy rain and, um, my feet still got wet. Granted, I was not wearing waterproof boots. Uh, right now I am wearing waterproof boots. Plus the, um... Rain, ooh, rainproof boot gator gator boot boot good well yeah um it's a nice sliding bolt so hopefully my feet will stay dry uh the rest of me hopefully will stay dry that will remain to be seen i've got probably about uh 10 more minutes left in this ride to home uh 15 if well probably probably closer to 15 because i'm going a little slow I mean, it is kind of nasty weather. I want to take a little bit slower so that I uh, don't uh, slide out or anything like that. <sighs> but today has been uh, today has been interesting. Had a shipment for work that was an attempted delivery on January or December twenty third. And of course, our office was closed that day due to inclement weather because it was super cold and wet. Um, and then, of course, Christmas. We've been closed since Christmas until um, until January the 3rd. And so I ran to the post office. There's two post offices, offices here in Newton. Uh, one's downtown and one's on the north side in the crazy part of town with all the shops and stores and restaurants and everything. So I went to the one that was closest, the one downtown, and waited in line for about 15 minutes. Um, got to listen to a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of inappropriate jokes from an old guy. Uh, I'm looking forward to being uh, an old guy and just being able to say whatever the heck I want and know that no, nobody's gonna call me on it. Uh, because I've I've earned that privilege because I'm so old. But anyway, so I get up to the counter and they uh, she tells me, oh, unfortunately we only deal in PO boxes here. Uh, if it was shipped to your physical address, then it's going to be at the other location, which at that point was about 10 minutes away. I was like, you know what? I've still got a little bit of time, so I was like, all right, I'll I'll drive up there. I was in my um, it was in my work van. Um, so I go to the other location and the line is almost out the door. I was like, well, crap. I'm here now. Might as well just get it over with. So I wait and I wait and I wait and I wait and I wait. And I finally get up to the counter. I give her the thing. She's like, um, I don't have any record of this. I was like, well, it says it was attempted delivery and nothing no tracking since then no updates okay then um so she went back couldn't find it said that she would have to uh call 
the person that does my route and find out and give me a call back. So I was like, all right, that's fine, whatever. After that, I didn't have enough time to go back to the office because I had to go home to meet, uh, to, to pick up my seven-year-old because he had a therapy appointment, a thera thera play. Uh, so I went straight home and then went to his therapy appointment, which, eh, I'm still, it's still up in the air if that's even beneficial or not because he just goofs off the entire time. And the therapist seems to just let him do whatever he wants. Now she did kind of stick to her gun. She said, okay, we're going to do not this now. And he kept saying, no, I want to do this. He said, no, nah, maybe we'll do, let's, let's do our next activity. And then if we have time, we'll go back and do this other thing that you want to do again. I was like, okay, that seems like an okay um, compromise. Before we went in, I had talked to him. I said, specifically, please don't be hyper. Don't be crazy. You know, listen and and do it. Follow instructions. Well, he did not. The second we got in there, he forgot all that I had said, all that he had agreed to, and just went crazy, bouncing off the walls, literally bouncing off the walls, hiding under the desk, pushing the chair around. Uh, kicking over here You're not doing the the games activities, right? it was painful and I'm trying to trying to not um, To not get on to him Whatever Man, it's getting dark <clears throat> So we finally made it through that took him back home went back to work put all my gear on and here we are oh I forgot while I was in my work van which is a, a Dodge Caravan which I absolutely hate driving because it sucks uh, I was coming up onto a stoplight which on my side was green it had just turned yellow as I'm going through the intersection when all of a sudden there's a big old jacked up pickup truck that came barreling through the intersection. I mean, luckily he saw me, slammed on his brakes. I saw him, slammed on my brakes. We um, came you know, within a few, I'd say a foot, maybe two, of uh, crunching into each other. I just kind of gave him a like, what the heck, dude? And went through the intersection. I immediately got a text from a coworker says, says, I just witnessed that smooth or smooth moves or something like that nice save is what she said I, so I just saw that nice save it's like wow I'm glad glad I would have had a, a witness that saw it all happen in case something happened um, and I said I still had a yellow light and she said he had no light like his was red long red and he's just, just going for it. But yeah, he would have hit me if I hadn't slowed down. And if he didn't slow down, we either would have, you know, clipped corner to corner, or he would have hit me broadside right on the driver's side. And he was jacked up truck. His bumper would have hit right at my head. I'd probably be dead right now. Kind of got my adrenaline pumping. Uh, of course, before going into the um, the first post office and listen to a bunch of old guy jokes. His one was, uh, what do you call a deer with no eyes? It's a no idea. What do you call uh, a deer with no legs and no eyes? It's still no idea. And then he said, what do you call a deer with no legs, no eyes, and no penis. <laughs> I still no effing idea. Oh man, my visor's fogging up. I was like, oh my gosh. This dude is like in his 80s. 
He can say whatever the heck he wants because he's earned it. He's old. Uh, hey, there was another one. What do you what do you call a woman with no with um, with one leg? Eileen. I forget what were the what were the other one. There's a woman with no legs. Man, I cannot see a thing. Whew. Feels like my knees are getting wet, but I don't know. They could could be dry. But anyway, it reminded me of of uh, you know some old dad jokes. Um, but just more inappropriate. Woo, this is fun, fun weather. Now it's really starting to rain harder. I'm going to keep you all along for the ride. Just in case anything happens. Woo, these are some big old raindrops. Let's slow down because I cannot see very far in front of me. These are some, man, I, I can feel these raindrops through my, I'm wearing my raincoat and my um, rain jacket, or my rain jacket and my riding coat. I can feel the drops through both of those. Of course, it's, you can probably hear how loud it is on my helmet. It is crazy, crazy loud. And, I mean, my visor is completely fogged up. I can't see a daggone thing. Crack it barely. That's a little better. But, woo! I can see hardly anything in front of me. This is just in freaking sane. GoPro's getting soaked. The screen just came on. I guess the water activated it. Mm. Ooh, this is this is fun. Not really. Well, I got a little bit lighter there. That ditch is full of water. Now this, you probably can't even see it. It's probably just a smear of all the rain on the on the uh, lens. Whoa! I just went through some water. But I am uh, a little bit scared right now. The, rain, the wind is blowing harder. The ditches are full of water. And I can barely see. Oh man, nice cross breeze there. Hey, it stopped raining so hard. Must have been just a little red cell. Ooh. Oh man. I think I'm through the worst of it for now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, definitely feel the wind on that. We we're under tornado watch uh, with this storm, understandably. Uh, we went from, whoa! We went from you know, being in the, in the teens to the 70s in a matter of days. And that, um, that storm system came from California and uh, just kept coming. There we go. I think I'm on the homeward stretch. I think I'm good now. Be interesting to see how many inches of rain we get today, tonight. It's supposed to rain all night long. And into tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning's moto vlog will be much of the same, probably um, riding in more rain. Joy, joy, joy. 
and um, yeah, we will see how it goes then. So until then, please be excellent to each other. Tuba Billy signing out. Yeah, it's getting dark again. God be with you till we meet again.